This is Metal Gear for the MSX2, uh, published uh, in the early 80s by Konami. Oh, got it. We can check how to use the F key. Yeah, uh, the MSX is controlled with like a keyboard of sorts. Uh, was this like some kind of computer, but it wasn't a computer? Yeah, it was in the early like the early days where computers and video game consoles were pretty much synonymous. We control uh, a Green Beret rookie, codenamed uh, Solid Snake. And he has just infiltrated... A call? No. <laughs> Our commanding officer is such a boss, he goes by the codename Big Boss. Oh, I thought that was the organization. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, he, his snake worked for Big Boss? But, okay. Okay, so here's the deal. Uh, Operation Intrude N212 was a failure that occurred uh, several weeks before this one. <laughs> oh, also, there's English. There's a lot of English in this game. It's a stealth based game, so we're going to try and avoid enemy soldier uh, eyes at all times. Uh, a few weeks before this one, there was a failed mission which was similar to this one, in which we belong to the organization Fox ha uh, Foxhound. It's an elite uh, special forces agency commanded by Big Boss. And the most elite soldier in this organization, uh, codenamed Gray Fox, was sent to infiltrate this base, Outer Heaven, to uh, determine what it was up to. It's a military base gone rogue uh, somewhere in South Africa. Uh, he was captured. How are you supposed to know if that's gonna happen? <laughs> you weren't. Uh, being on the MSX, there are a lot of bullshit. Uh, you can't beat this game without getting alerted, so don't even try. Uh, um, so when you catch the eyes of a soldier, like, do they challenge you to a Pokemon? I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> um. <clears throat> oh, you can ignore the calls. Yeah. He was captured, and he m managed to get out one last uh, report to Big Boss before his radio or whatever was Gray taken Fox? away. Yes, Gray Fox. Okay. It, it consisted of two words only. Metal Gear. Uh, okay. So the next logical choice from your uh, most elite soldier... Oh, that guy fell asleep so we can steal... <laughs> You can start punching him, we, and he won't wake up. We either punched him and put him in this, put him in our pocket as an inventory item, uh, and we stole a gas mask. Um, so he sent the rookie soldier, Solid Snake, in to retrieve uh, Gray Fox, free him, and uh, determine what Metal Gear means. Is Solid Snake like the only other person <laughs> in the? Uh, Foxhound is a large organization at this point. It takes place in 1995. So, their best couldn't do it if they sent <laughs> their newest. Well, we're covering the spectrum. We're gonna send the best, and we'll send the worst, and then we'll just keep getting close to the middle until we get a successful mission. No, that, that doesn't make any sense. Well, a lot of things Big Boss commands doesn't make much sense. A gun that's as big as your <laughs> legs. Um, yeah. I take it it doesn't come with bullets giving the what looks like an ammo system? And that it's, it's either we have How no do you bullets. Use, that's so wrong! Yeah, either we have no bullets or we have infinite bullets. I can it's hard to tell with the sprite work on this. I, Is that a landmine? It's a either it it's a landmine or a smoke detector. The other soldier went back into- okay, I guess we're not going in. If we do get an alert, then all of the enemies will pursue us and shoot us with guns. Our life is very low. Also, our class is only one star. Relieve! 
Oh, of duty. Yeah. <laughs> Xbox. Come on, wasn't that a wasn't that the parent? <laughs> Thanks, text magical text box. Did we somehow trigger that? This is an elevator. We move up and down in the no, elevator. No, I mean to relieve. Oh no, they they re they were relieved of their duty, of their oh. post, and other soldiers would take their place if we had to time that just right. That was the first puzzle of the game. Oh, those are cameras on the wall. Oh, I thought they were like sliding, <laughs> gonna shoot lasers at you, Fang. <laughs> I don't understand the functionality of having your camera slide, slide? up and down the wall. No. If anything, that's oh. actually worse than just mounting in one place and <laughs> yeah. just have it cover a area. Oh, you'll see just how uh, inappropriate it'll be later. Rescued. Oh, we've met rescued. <laughs> he was just so grateful he he didn't S move Sad out of there. respect. Uh oh. He's a real rookie, this Solid Snake. What if you don't have the gas mask? Do you, can uh, you go out? Either you'll die or you'll run back uh, until you can go get it. Oh. You'll wander around aimlessly until you find Did it. Do you step on the gas there? Or <laughs> is it like deadly? Oh no, that's just like to demonstrate that the room is filled with gas. Also, note that we can't uh, go through doors unless we have that card key equipped. You don't know what level card key opens which doors. You have it's just trial and error at this point. Foxhounder. Is this is even better than Foxhound, I guess. I think the members of Foxhound are Foxhounders. Oh. And we can't equip. So I guess they actually did send other people after Gray Fox. Oh no, these were other hostages that know about. Uh, the Foxhounder. I think he was talking about Gray Fox in that. Oh. Hmm. Oh, this is the this is the uh. <laughs> what? Oh, this is the uh stack of barrels. Room security that is in every single military installation. Well, it's not a military base. It's it's a rogue. I thought you said it was a rogue military base. It's it's a rogue military base. It's Isn't a mil that a military base still. It's not a military that belongs to a country, it is a, it is a private military, and this oh. is their rogue base. If it was a regular really military base... Uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, so you, you can't... can punch them as long as they don't see you? Yeah. That's Wait, the thing. your life has gone... the life meter's gone down, so... That was from the gas. Oh. When you're in the gas room, you have to equip the gas mask. Oh, it's another card key. So now we have card key one, and card key two, I'm gonna presume. Here's the thing, you think card key two would open up anything two and below, but it doesn't. It only opens, uh, two doors. So it's all trial and error. It really, it's really painful when you're in a uh, gas room trying to open the end door, because you can't have a gas mask equipped at the same time as your key card. Mm-hmm. There are a lot of problems that plague uh, uh, the original Metal Gear. And they're only going to compound on each other. Yep. Like, uh, uh, look at that tactical espionage action. You can look! You're taller! These guys are taller than the stacks of things. They can clearly see over them. It, it's not. A, it looks like a stack of thing, but it's isometric view. Like every wall should be. It's like slanting down, like we were looking at it from that angle. These are all actually straight walls. I'm not sure what that item was. It keeps responding. Oh, we've collected that before. Yes. It might have been a ration. Which is our, the the way to refuel health. Also, uh, guards have infinite distance. They can view an infinite distance, but it's a very narrow field of view, as you can a see. Very linear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. They have tunnel vision. Oh, it's oh a lightsaber. The matchstick. The giant. Is that a rocket? <laughs> it's a giant. It's a giant matchstick. We're gonna light something on fire. 
What a pussy so can't even take three punches. So he just won't even if you're punching him? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna turn around for just anything. So if you punch them and walk away, will they notice you? Like, will they turn around and chase you or something? Uh, it's pretty much guaranteed if you don't do your three hit combo, then you're going to get swarmed. Ah. Uh. Also, we have 40 bullets for the gun that we have now, but it's much more effective to just punch people. Are bullets like one shot kills and you still have to shoot them when no, they're not looking no, at you? No, it's not. It's not oh, even so one. It's three bullets? I think it is three bullets. <laughs> but you can punch, it's like punching them from a distance. <laughs> but you want to save these bullets for uh, more effective uh, enemies later on. Oh no! A call. It was a missile. It was. See, you could tell that that's an electrified floor by the fact that uh. There we I actually go. Actually, would have guessed that was an electrified floor. There we go. Well, he said it was high voltage. <laughs> We destroyed the high voltage by uh, blowing up the switch. Oh. What? Which is conveniently located over top of the high voltage. I'm not sure how they turned that on. Okay, this is obviously a card one door. You could have at least Help. color coded it, you know? Yeah, well, maybe like markings, like one line Rest. is card yeah. one, two lines. Ooh, re resistance Diane. Oh. So we just contact wave band 12033. Hmm. Uh, we have full control of the radio in this game. We can pull it up anytime and call any frequency you want. And they use this as a form of copy protection. Oh. That was a masterful stealth right there. What? I think the red guys are supposed to be more elite, actually. Oh. Looks like they can move faster. It's... Is that... A pack. Is that the stealthing ability? I think it's a package. I... I know very little about Metal Gear, but I think boxes are supposed to be stealth. <laughs> well, it's a very boxy, uh, environment. <laughs> oh, no! Wait, what? We walked straight into this... This trap? The trap? What are these? Sh I thought. Uh. I don't know if it's a trap or they're just like shooting randomly because I think <laughs> they're just shooting randomly. <laughs> See, this is what the gun is used I, for. Wait, did oh. Snake just turn into that man? <laughs> what just happened? He dropped whatever that was. I think it was a a bottle of ink. Oh, it's an even larger gun. Does that shoot electricity? <laughs> it might be a spread gun. This is the theme that plays in your head whenever you wait. <laughs> so now that we collected whatever that that uh, vial was, uh, okay. Um, He's not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> no, rescuing hostages is way is one of a way of uh, is one of the many ways to increase our class in this game. It's a very classy thing to do. Another classy thing is to murder enemies. What? Wait, what just happened? Uh, we, we one hit punched him, or maybe we shot him. <laughs> the thing is, we, we want to kill enough en- Yeah, we shot him. It is a one hit kill. Oh. Uh, but we have limited ammo, so use it wisely. Oh no. They're, they watch each other's backs. <laughs> you gotta shoot him when he's not looking. Oh man, if Snake can figure out how to shoot diagonally, he would be just <laughs> so set in this game. That, that's, uh, that's what Gray Fox is actually known for. He can shoot diagonally, that's why he got so far. <laughs> Matter of fact, Gray Fox was so elite, he was the only one in the uh, Foxhound unit to receive the codename of Fox, which is their highest honor. 
Oh no. Oh, he said that, not me. <laughs> Gotta take the snake snake map. So, uh, where's snake in the hierarchy of uh, fox and hound? Um, I guess hound would be the second best. No, uh, fox hound like a fox hound is a is a hound that hunts foxes. Oh. So I'm not quite sure. So they're, they're hunting. Wait, are you actually hunting gray fox then? Well, we are. You know. Oh, we we just increase our class, which means we have a slightly higher life bar now. Oh, congratulations! Did you get some health back? Yes, we did. Oh, uh, those red things there, those emit laser beams, but we can't see them until we get the thermal goggles. So we're doing that blind, apparently. Oh. That's just terrible. Maybe there's a carbon monoxide leak around there. Just puts everybody to sleep. These cameras are terrible too. Oh, I thought you meant the one that we're using to view the game. Oh. Good work, Snake. <laughs> Shot that. He used it as a distraction Dang. for that guard there. You also have the quietest bullets, apparently. Mm-hmm. These are also the most mutest guards. <laughs> so the cardboard box works like this. We could sneak around in the box, and when the camera passes over us, as long as we're not moving, it can't tell that we're not just a box sitting there. That's but, why all the cameras move like that. Oh. But do troops realize boxes are not? Yes. Okay. They're not- come on, they're not idiots. <laughs> as I... that guy watches his buddy explode. <laughs> and we're just standing <laughs> within two feet of each other. <laughs> <laughs> nope, nothing. Revol this this game is what puts stealth games on the map. You understand that? Before this, there was nothing in the stealth genre. It's switching between objects. <laughs> yeah. I like how they achieved a 2D effect in a 3D game. Which is, a oh no. I like how the tanks have cat face. <laughs> I take it you can't punch while in box form? Oh, uh, yeah, the, uh, in box form all you can do is sneak. Fox hound are called Grey Fox, must be... Oh, of course. Oh, the be secret cell. <laughs> I know this because I'm a hostage. They tied that man to a floor and in a room with just a desk. The hounds. Wait, or the fox, I'm not sure. Oh! It, it's the submachine gun? Uzi? I'm not yeah. sure if they all operate off the same bullets, anyway. I'm not sure if he is a double agent, because that sounds like a bad strategy. I guess, but I guess they would take you to the secret cell. No, right? they shoot you. Oh. That's all they do is shoot you until you're dead. Really? Yeah. So is that even relevant? What he said? Um, along with many things said in the game manuals of 1980s games, it's just a bold-faced lie. <laughs> oh no! Don't, oh. If you say so. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Guard. Game over. I wouldn't know what just happened. <laughs> they didn't take out... They didn't remove his... I know this Circle. because I'm How a radio. How does Big Boss know all this? Oh... See, because this wall sounds different, we could punch straight through it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, I thought he was describing himself as the ultimate weapon, Metal Gear. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> destroy. <laughs> uh oh, Doctor Magnus Petrovich Modnar. I bet you create. have to throw it back into the volcano in which it was created. <laughs> Is every single really? <laughs> well, yeah, because there... there was a dead end. That's the secret cell. Oh no, it's shoot oh, gunner. Sh oh. <laughs> Nobody has ever been in this boss fight. <laughs> his special ability is he can stand in front of his text box. Uh, this is what? Shoot Gunner. He was actually former Russian Spetsnaz soldier. Oh. Oh, because we were captured, they took away all of our equipment? So we actually have no means to fight Shoot Gunner right now. And they tied it up in a trash bag over here. With a bow on it. I took back the weapons and equipment. <laughs> Me. I oh, did. Oh. So now we can fight Shoot Gunner. Uh, he was in the former Russian Spetsnaz. And where he became legendary for his use of the shotgun. As was evident in his boss fight tactics. He was also the one who designed, uh... He's actually the warden movement. of the prison that we were trapped in. Really? If you... Oh, here's a remote control launcher. What? <laughs> 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 See, the strategy we employ in this boss fight is to... Okay. See, that's really the way to do it, because otherwise you're going to get shot by a shotgun. <laughs> oh, what? and uh, if you saw that, in the middle of our bag of items, they put a transmitter. So if we didn't get rid of that, it would make us easy to get caught again. Pretty sneaky. So that's why they put it in a... they wrapped a bow on it. Oh, that thing we picked up was a P-bomb. A plastic explosives bomb that can blow open a wall. That sounds like woo -woo <laughs> when you punch it. Oh, that black lump over there is a dog. He can hear us through the wall, and he's gonna come get us. Oh, and he completely ignores <laughs> the proper speed for Fang. <laughs> yeah. We had to collect enough. He just suddenly appears. See, you Ooh. can you can tell where to bomb by punching the wall. This is a unique game mechanic developed for Metal Gear. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Tactical espionage action. Oh, there's two now. Oh no, Oop. we couldn't shoot him because he's actually bigger than the area we're standing in. Whoops. He just retreats? Yeah, well... Okay. One bite and he just runs away? <laughs> I, what? He might have bu bitten us when he got shot. <laughs> Oh, is this... is this Metal Gear? Is that armor? Is that a fat suit? Is it a bite suit? I guess it... that's what I'm guessing it's supposed to be. We didn't equip it, so it's not gonna do much good for us right now. Well, we can't equip the card key of... What the... <laughs> dogs are so dumb! <laughs> <laughs> well, it makes sense, because dogs have really good sense of smell. They could smell us through these walls. Just runs into a wall, and uh, I guess it was I was mistaken. It makes about as much sense as blowing a complete square brick hole in the brick wall. It makes about as much sense as only being able to blow holes in a brick wall where well, things go. Well, <laughs> well, here's the where thing. Where's that dog going? Well, here's the thing. These walls weren't actually supposed to be here. All the gaps in the walls were actually cemented over or bricked over. To prevent our, uh, to impede our movements oh, throughout the film. an officer's so uniform? Maybe we're gonna go undercover. I'm not sure what any of these items are anymore. <laughs> are you going to fake being Shoot Gunner? <laughs> we killed Shoot Gunner. I know, now you can pretend to be him. Oh, uh, <laughs> this game was re-released, uh, in 2004, believe it or not. Not with updated graphics or anything, just as part of MGS3 Special Edition. 
and some of the boss fights were renamed to make them less uh, ridiculous because in the NES you really couldn't take them seriously. So uh, shoot gu shotgunner or shoot gunner became shot maker. So now, now he's an official part of the M Metal Gear Cannon. <laughs> Is the Metal Gear Cannon a weapon in the game? <laughs> yes, as a matter of fact. See, we're on we're on the basement floor. That's why everything was green. Going back to the R floor. Yep. The, the going roof. Back to the R floor. It's the roof floor. Oh. Is that a boss fight? <laughs> oh, okay. To be in the barrier. All right. <laughs> you say so, big boss. <laughs> I I'm not I'm not sure if big boss is a confident guy or a crazy. Guy. <laughs> crazy like a foxhound. <laughs> so the reason we had to go down to the basement to collect the suit was so we can progress through the windy rooftop. It weighs us down. We can't reflect this in the sprite art, but it, trust me. I thought the suit was because I thought it was a blast suit. No, it's a, the wind barrier will push us or, or something. We can't. We need the blast suit. That's what we did. Okay, here's more rocket launcher. Right there it is. Okay. <laughs> that chair is the ultimate defense. <laughs> So all these guards also have blast suit? Even though they look exactly <laughs> the same? Uh... <laughs> Whoa! Oh, it's because we had the uh, card key equipped. Yeah, that wind would have pushed us back if we didn't have the blast suit. It was just that one little... That one little strip in between the walls on the roof. Ah, uh, that wouldn't let us progress? I think that's a... a, a, a side draft. Nope. The only way we can sneak past this uh, camera is if we have the box. Now I know what you're thinking, we already went this way and it just led to surefire capture. Oh. Is that one I'm thinking? <laughs> but now we have card key 3. It's the grayer fox. <laughs> Oh, so those little P-bomb things respawn so you don't actually run out. Mm-hmm. Because you're going to need a lot more plastic explosives. Construction in outer... plastic. Okay. <laughs> it's the plastic bomb. Uh, construction in outer heaven isn't exactly... par, up to par. So we're going to be blowing up... Oh no, everybody fell asleep. What? But, wait, you had there one just three job, sleeping guards. And you're gar you were supposed to be guarding... Whatever that was, and you failed. Smoke detector? <laughs> the smoke detector, yeah. Oh, that guy dropped bullet. Oh, that's what, that's what those are. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is by getting captured. Oh. <laughs> you see, that seems like a really bad architectural decision. <laughs> if you want to go to the courtyard, you have to parachute. Maybe if you want to get back, it's even harder. <laughs> uh, be careful. See that uh, switch on the on the wall there? Yeah. That makes the floor electrified. Why would you? We need oh, the we, we need the uh, goggles, of course. They might be infrared. They might be thermal. They're the goggles that see invisible red thing. Or they might do nothing. We haven't equipped them. But I'm sure it was very important to our mission, or else we wouldn't have came down here and got them. We've already fulfilled like half of our our uh, tasks in this mission. We've oh. rescued Gray Fox. Now we just need to stop Metal Gear, even though he's the most elite soldier in existence of the Gray Fox. Gray Fox is not going to do it himself, even no. though we freed him. No, maybe. We might as well, yeah, like just hand over our equipment right now and <laughs> let him do it. It's your time to shine, rookie. Well, we do have more guns than we can ever hold at once. We, <laughs> they are as big as me. It takes both hands to carry this pistol. Well, 
Well, thank heavens for that. <laughs> thank <laughs> outer heaven for that. Did he wake up eventually? Uh, yeah. He'll- he'll be, uh... <laughs> oh, the goggle! That's- okay, the goggle re <laughs> the, the goggle reveals goggle. the path we need to take through this maze. Oh. Big Boss isn't gonna tell us to get it, though? If we came through here without it, he would have. Oh, it's the Unifo! We did come out uh, through here without it, though. Yeah, we oh, did. Yeah. <laughs> he's not the biggest boss, he's just a big boss. Oh, I already know how to get there. We just need the oh. parachute. What's that? A pair of shoes? <laughs> oh no. It's Machine Gun Kid. <laughs> <laughs> is that supposed to be like Billy the Kid, but with yeah. Machine Gun? Uh... <laughs> machine Gun Kid... It's such a good... This is a lot of ammo. <laughs> well, it's a Machine Gun. He's so good, he was named so well it didn't need to be retconned. Uh... <laughs> oh, I'm glad the missile can't actually blow ourselves up. <laughs> he was actually former uh, SAS. He was a British super soldier. And that was about it for him. He was so good with a machine gun, he, but no oh, rocket he, launcher. He perished. <laughs> Why is it open? <laughs> Why is it smaller than a gun? It's pre-deployed. <laughs> you see, outer. The thing about outer heaven is, it's completely. It, its sole existence is to create a purpose for soldiers. That's that's why it's created and pre-deployed parachutes and. <laughs> boxes of weapons and traps everywhere. It just contributes to the mentality of it's everybody. It's also like, it's also I'm guessing like the Viking Asgard. If you die, you just respawn when someone leaves <laughs> the room. <laughs> it is the so way you of the soldier. Be soldiering on forever. Mm -hmm. Also, you can take a, sna a nap as often <laughs> as you like. It's the perks of being a soldier. Suit? What? It's the bomb suit. But why do we need the? Oh, we're going back here. Yeah. Oh. Uh, well, because now we have the parachute. How do you control we're... where you go? Do you just keep going back on and off until it goes. There's a to lot the right of trial point? and error. Oh, now that we have the parachute, where else will we parachute off of? The roof. But you had to get the goggle from the roof first. Yes. There's a lot of backtracking, it's another staple of uh, Outer Heaven. Know your patrol route. That's one of the, uh... It's one of the big three they, uh, incorporate into your soldier doctrine. Oh good, so we'll put the missile back. <laughs> restocking is the second part. You gotta know your patrol route, keep, uh, keep, keep restocked, and, and work on your silly nickname. A red guard to left and right. <laughs> You know the game's getting silly when Big Boss is not the silliest code name. <laughs> and oddly enough, Solid Snake is not the most uh, phallic. I'm Large Rod. The, uh... <laughs> Do we have to jump to the courtyard from inside the building? <laughs> no, we we'll probably have to go through this building and get around those boxes. <laughs> Why would you? <laughs> Outer heaven. Oh. No, we don't. Rescued. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's all the advice I have for you. Go now. <laughs> we probably just have to find some place to jump off the roof. We we have the we have the parachute. We land in the courtyard. <laughs> our, our, uh, <laughs> our guards aren't very good, so we're gonna beef up security to make it very convoluted to do anything. Oh no! Wait, what is going on? <laughs> okay, what is that? That is a rope. That is a bridge. In the wind. 
It's swaying. And that Why is a man on a jetpack. The... <laughs> what? These are men on jetpacks. Oh. Oh no, he just turned on the electric floor. If only there was something that you could Okay, know. now he... <laughs> you gotta... <laughs> oh. Okay, the, these guys, they float around on jetpacks and they can shoot you from anywhere. If, if I they're... don't understand the hitbox. <laughs> and they can walk, too. There's a giant key. Oh, I, I like the uh, consistency here that they walk while in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a, uh, when there's a roof over their heads. When there's a I'm roof below them. I'm surprised one of them didn't just like, turn on the fl uh, flip the yeah. switch and then flew away. <laughs> <laughs> you would have been completely screwed. Unless you had... Mm -hmm. No, you would step out and die. Yeah. Immediately. Okay, here's the next boss fight of the game. It doesn't have a silly name. It's the Hind D helicopter. You, you, <laughs> the main Hiney. the main strategy here is we have a grenade launcher. So. Oh, and it actually just lobs a grenade. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the grenade launcher. It's the grenade it's, lobber, it's... really. Um, because the MSX console doesn't support scrolling screens. Uh, we can't actually follow the any sprite moving around on the background like that. So the uh, the helicopter was just parked for that boss fight. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Those are really large bricks. <laughs> we. I guess no one's gonna try to shoot you down. Oh, I was hoping the rest of the game would just be that. Okay, <laughs> and we just happened to land in the middle of three dogs. Oh, wait, you might notice. Just bump into them to kill them. Mm-hmm. No, we shot him. Good thing- Oh, that dog. wasn't a giant key, it was a metal detector. Oh, and once you have a metal detector equipped- <laughs> You just see all the bombs. They just unearth every single landmine. <laughs> no, it just makes them visible. Oh, so it's like a ground ex- Yeah. It might be a metal detector, or it might be a mine detector. I'm not sure if there's a difference. Or it might difference. be a ladle. <laughs> Dr. Pepper. Who's talking? That was that was Snake. He came to, to save. Nobody? We came to save Dr. Petrovich. Well, it's very cinematic this game. We came oh, to I save. Oh, I thought he was talking to Dr. Petrovich, saying it was too late. No, it, he's not here anymore. It was too late to rescue him. Oh. Unless he looks like everybody else. Rescued. I saw it all from here. What? There are, between building <laughs> one and building two, there are ten kilometers. That's not an efficient use of space at all. Ten kilometers? <laughs> How are we gonna progress ten- this is all one base. How are we gonna progress ten kilometers within one base? <laughs> it apparently just happened, too. My patrol- <laughs> my patrol route consists of the inside and outside of this truck. <laughs> this is a very tricky room. <laughs> Everybody watches each other's backs most of the time. Okay, here's where the 10 kilometers come to play. Oh, also be careful, because if you didn't know there were mine detectors there, you would or mines, you would have died. Well, that's not <laughs> right. Big boss, why didn't you warn me? There could be clay more mines at any given point in the game. Really? Mm-hmm. And you can only have one thing equipped at a time, yep. so... Oh no, which means you... What? When you go through a door, you have the keycard equipped. Oh, that was a bomb. Oh, the, the, ra the ratio was increase our health. We eat a tin of whatever... Oh god. We're under heavy fire. Also, we're... How are you supposed to know where those here on land? <laughs> it was a tank shooting us, somehow. That's not a cat face tank at all. <laughs> this is the, uh, this is a tank. It, it, you can see it's quite large. Almost large enough for a human being to fit in. Uh-oh. So the general strategy here is, because a tank is so impregnable anywhere but the bottom of it, we place these landmines, and they run over them and blow them up, and it, it destroys... <laughs> it destroys the, uh, undershell of the tank. Stack them, too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it's consecutive uh, series of explosions. More simultaneous. 
Probably. <laughs> oh yeah, no one's actually seen you yet. <laughs> Soldier, put down that red carpet. We're not lying. We're not welcoming you. Wait, nobody captured you earlier. What do you mean, probably? <laughs> well, he could have been a foxhounder. Okay. Oh, and... And if you didn't get that from way, way, way yeah, back... Yeah, seriously. Wow. You're gonna need stuff eventually. <laughs> so this was on Newgrounds? <laughs> So the reason we had to collect the UNIFO is to sneak past these guards. We you don't look any different. Come don't in. <laughs> what? I specifically told you you had one job and it was not to welcome the intruder into the base. But here he is. And if you didn't have the uniform equipped, he'd say get out. <laughs> you see, the uniform only tricks the guards in the red. Because red guards don't belong in here, and if if you're a red guard in here, it means you obviously are a traitor and they're going to shoot you on sight. But you weren't even wearing a red guard uniform earlier. <laughs> you weren't wearing anything earlier. <laughs> you looked exactly the same. Oh, Whoa, what? Instinct. How are you supposed you, to exit that? It's, uh, I'm this is the tutorial section where you learn how to get caught if you've been perfect stealth up to this point. So there is actually no way to not get caught. Yeah, exactly. Luckily, class is not a fact. There is a door in the sewer. <laughs> he can see you down here. Oh. So, even though there's clearly a fence. Oh, no. What? It, it's the bulldozer in the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> Who keeps How did the it get in? in the <laughs> okay. You were doing so it a favor, really. Or no? I hope you had your goggle equipped when you walked in here. <laughs> Oh, wow, what? So this is so you just can't memorize the patterns. It, it's a, a randomized, uh... Trap. And another elevator. We got a parachute to the next... You're 10 meters... 10 kilometers away. Oh, another mini-boss. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay. I like how the music's still going. I think they're still on to us. Good thing we came up here to uh, learn that. The only way to get to the basement is if you take the stairs. We could have rid the elevator down there. Oh yeah, wasn't that B floor? Yeah, it was. <laughs> oh. Just, oh. I think his bullet blocked my bullet. <laughs> Such great aim. These guys seem like such an annoying asshole. I don't understand the hitbox on them either. If you hit their shadow, does it count? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Another thing the MSX can't really do is uh, depth. I think we have all those ratio. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good thing we have five key cards to choose from. <laughs> oh. Not quite sure entirely what the point in that was. Looks like that hound just got fox. I thought we were, it's supposed to be a other way around. Yeah, I know. I don't know. Rescue me from this analogy. Oh no. Wait, so is Metal Gear a program? Or some kind of launching device? It... It... it it can shoot a nuke anywhere in the world. That's all we're quite sure of so far. And it needs to be destroyed, or else it will be completed. Only one way to destroy it. Yes, but we don't know what that is yet. We, that's why we need to find Petrovich. 
It's punching it three times. <laughs> calling it right now. Oh, man. Also, it's not completed yet, so if... Oh! oh. And you just classed up and it refilled you to... Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think four is the maximum class. We're as classy as we're gonna get. We are now fox, snake, hound, <laughs> solid. We are the f we are the grayest of the fox. Uh, we're a uh, solid fox. No, he's not gonna turn into the grayest until little gear four. I think we just turn into president, actually. I think four is when he gets old. Maybe five. <laughs> I think there's a five. Oh, good. Cyclops there's a gone. rank five. Or a key card five. Nice. Uh what? Oh, we Is have Big Boss ever gonna talk again? We have binoculars or scope in our inventory. It allows us to peek one screen to Oh god. That's a one hit kill. What? <laughs> what? That is a one-hit kill, uh, pit. What is that? It's a one-hit kill pit. <laughs> how does that even... It's a trap. The form just kind of... Yeah. ...disintegrated in a circle. It, and then they cover it back up. Oh. 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 Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, whatever. Whatever. So the designer of this floor just thought, okay, what if the walls just snake around? That'll be ironic someday, right? <laughs> okay. In fact, the designer of this floor was so bad, none of the guards <gasps> wanted to be stationed here. Well, it is covering you. You are caught in a trap. In fact... We tricked you. Oh my god, that guy we rescued lied. Or was not <gasps> the guy we rescued, I don't know. What? <laughs> that was a trap. <laughs> it was a fake well, a it fake was mad a fake madnar on a on a a trap door. So, so did it just kill the guy too? Yeah, if we didn't run away immediately after that we would have fallen down that too. Outer Heaven is not particularly concerned about its soldiers. They well, train. You can just walk back to a room; they'll be back again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's what those are. Those are ratios. It's a it's a giant meal ready to eat. MREs. Yes. Just like a soldier would eat. We're, we should be pretty thankful the fake Madnar revealed to us where the real Madnar was before he fell in the pit. <laughs> well, he thought you were going to get dropped down a floor even further <laughs> down, so... Oh no! It's Fire Trooper! Oh. Go on. Uh, <laughs> oh! Fire Trooper was actually the head of the German uh, anti-terrorist unit GSG-9. He can swing his wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. fire on the floor. And he he actually popularized this at a German uh, techno. Okay. Bye bye. I'm surprised you lasted that long in an anti terrorism unit. Oh, if we weren't using the thermal goggles here, we tried to walk in the deep water, I'm pretty sure we drowned. Really? I'm pretty sure that was a feature. <laughs> thermal goggles, uh, keeps the waters out of your eyes? <laughs> Dual purpose? That might have just been a shadow. Oh, we're up to six key cards now. It's the flashlight. Or a giant <laughs> screw? I thought it was a large key. It could be... I don't think we've guessed right since the rocket launcher. I'm sure it'll help us reach the second floor, whatever it is.
light. You're right. Oh, okay. Um, that's an antenna. <laughs> oh no. Oh. <laughs> I was having a jamming time over here, Snake. <laughs> but it's okay. But now, now it's over. I just thought you'd like to know. <laughs> Thanks for keeping me posted, big boss. That's why you're the biggest. So I guess that thing on the table was jamming the radio? Maybe. Uh, also, uh, big boss continually uh, updates his codec frequency. So he doesn't, uh, just in case there is an eavesdropper. Oh, so you can never actually call him either? No, we can. Oh. He tells us every single time it happens. Oh. Oh, we... Apparently... Okay. What ditch? Wait. The drainage ditch. That one there. Oh. Um... Apparently this is building two. We traversed ten kilometers to get here. And who knows how long we'll have to go through the drainage ditch to get to building three. It's... Hopefully another, uh... Brick wall down. <laughs> we parachute through a brick wall. Oh yeah, it's so deep we just drown. But we don't need the thermal goggles to see it. <laughs> there are... I guess it was Fire Trooper who programmed both <laughs> lasers? The fire trooper's dead. Well, he was the one who came out with him? Maybe? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, yeah, uh... You know, he can get lucky and have guards not looking at the door every single time he enters a place. Oh, no! Ninjas! What are these? Ninja <laughs> turtles? <laughs> are they? We'll get to those later. The Ninja Turtles or those guys? Uh, <laughs> I'm not at liberty to say, actually. I don't want to give spoilers. It's possible. That was certainly a sentence. Not the exact... Is that how the class thing works? Will we get enough? We can call Jennifer? Is this, uh, I, is this entire thing a waifu simulator? I'm inclined to say yes. I'm inclined also to say... Okay. See, we can call anybody. <laughs> what? That's how what? I'm going to answer every Come one of my phone rock. calls Where? from now on. What? So, this is RJ. Come for a rocket launcher. <laughs> we'll arrange a rocket launcher. Come for a rocket launcher. <laughs> it's like saying, well, I'm arranging a barbecue. Come on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, where's the rocket launcher? Well, she's only arranged for it. We have to go get it. I mean... We're going oh, here it is. Is it just going to be in the next room you go to? <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> well, Je Jennifer works in mysterious ways. Let's see. All we know about her is her name's Jennifer. And what her- and she's proud. <laughs> won't talk to you unless you're an executive. Yeah. She has standards. She's not going to give a rocket launcher to anybody. Okay, these guys here are Arnold. Both of them? Yes, th together they are Arnold. <laughs> Apparently we'll get to them later. Ratio. <laughs> okay, now we have the magic potion. I think that'll restore <laughs> our mana whenever... I but it, it looks like a, 
Does it increase your hearts? When you die, you get an automatic red. A fairy bomb? It's like... Uh, it was an item like that in one of the Legends of Zelda No, games. that's actually what rations do. Oh, if it's you, an antidote. If you have them... Okay. Okay, this is... uh Oh. We'll get to them eventually. No, uh, if you have rations equipped, they'll actually refill your health when you reach zero. Oh. But then you have to equip rations, and that's a waste of uh, your item, your item slot. You're only one. Oh, it is an antidote. Or an antacid. Uh. The anti-D. Okay. Oh, I gotta grab some more bullets. We gotta stock up. I mean, we can't take down Arnold with only... That Arnold is twice the man you'll ever be. We fight <laughs> Oh no, it's Madnar again. Hooray! Oh! <laughs> Touchdown! <laughs> Save Ellen what? or. Save my daughter or the world can be nuked. Or I'm gonna karate chop you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, Colonel Sanders. <laughs> doesn't even tell you where she is. No. All he knows is that she is named Ellen and uh, we have to find her. I guess one of the rescued will tell you. <laughs> okay, this is Arnold. They were named... It, he, it, it was named based on its resemblance to Arnold Schwarzenegger. Hey, Arnold. <laughs> In the uh, remake, it was actually uh, changed to Bloody Brad. Which I think is a better name. There are cyberoids that, uh, Cyber. that Professor Madnar was forced to develop here on Outer Heaven. Let's see, it's somewhere between a, a cyber and an android. So it's like partially digital. It 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 might be a cyborg. It might be an android. They're not sure. It's 1980s. It's a Terminator. It's the TX-11. Oh, this is... Oh, no, it's making a call. Yep. Oh, we're calling Jennifer. <laughs> oh, How that door she, is locked. Is she on the other side? <laughs> She's a compass. Yeah, that one's pretty obvious. This will tell us where the uh, dungeon items are located. <laughs> it just points north. <laughs> Jennifer won't stop being a hostage unless you bring her a compass. <laughs> Jennifer! <laughs> oh, you. It, it's <laughs> not far off. Desert? <laughs> We're in South Africa. The, Are you sure we've you gone 10 kilometers already, <laughs> so, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sweet dreams. <laughs> oh. Perilous. I think that is one hit kill, too. Ellen might be in the basement. <laughs> Everyone's in the basement. <laughs> Are you Ellen? Okay.
What? <laughs> Was that supposed to be like a taunt? Is that a threat? <laughs> Lead you to the gas room. I'll race you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Over. <laughs> oh, that's Schneider. My favorite Metal Gear character. He's German. And I believe that's German for... Hutter? I don't know, it's been a while since German. <laughs> no, we, ar we already had our German, that was Flame Trooper. Oh. Which is German for, uh... Flame Shooter. <laughs> Oh no! Whoa! <laughs> I like how it's bricked on the inside. There's a missing brick on the inside. Oh no, if only we had some kind of light. <laughs> <laughs> a little light for that, Diane! There may be a pitfall. So, this is three random female characters that have just appeared and disappeared within the span of a radio call? Was Schneider one of them? <laughs> We've got Jennifer, Diane, and Ellen. I like how the light just makes... Hey, she said no, only me one! Oh god! Oh no! I like how if you don't outrun them, then you, you have to retreat and reset them, because otherwise you can't get around them. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> That's awful! <laughs> what devious mastermind could have what? planned this? <laughs> oh, and that room is entirely dark, so we had to have the, uh... The light, which lights up the entire room. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're actually pointing in our, in our own eyes, so it amplifies all the light we receive. Which is none of it, because <laughs> it's a dark room! We can't tell if this has a roof on it, it's the basement, but it, uh... But then it would already be lit! There'd be no <laughs> What? Help me! See, where's the light coming in from those windows, huh? Uh... Help me by punching this wall! Help me. If I just rig some explosives next to this wall, it'll help her! <laughs> 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 get it the first time. Then she turns into an octopus and starts to <laughs> fly away. So, oh, Austin! Oh, we gotta help him urgently. Well, now that I believe you that my daughter has been helped, I'll, I'll uh, stop saying goal. <laughs> so we gotta go all the way back to him. Or is there a shortcut? No. Oh well. The we're back at the secret cell. <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised I remember this place. <laughs> yeah. And this is where, uh... It's where we fought, shooter, uh, uh, machine, or shoot gunner. Shoot gunner, yes. Excuse me, shot maker. Like, is he a director? <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh good, a... A medicine captain? A pair of saloon Space double doors? With a Squidward nose? <laughs> Many things. Well, that's all for <laughs> Uniform. <laughs> Outer Heaven was holding a costume party. Solid snake infiltrates. What? What was that sound? That was the barking. Oh, is that what that is? It might have been barking, it might have been a p somebody punching the other side of this wall. It's really hard to tell. You have to walk back through this section once. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect stealth. What? He looked right at you! Well, maybe your bullets are faster than his sight. He's tied <laughs> again! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Pokemon, apparently. What? The 100th basement? What? What? 
But also, I don't understand what numbers mean. <laughs> Attach plastic bo oh. Right, right, left, right. Right, right is correct. If you don't write that down, they never tell you again. What? So, but you have to <clears throat> uh, plaster explosive each foot in that order. Yes. Really? Oh, we 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 already destroyed Arnold. I'm sorry, Mr. Arnold. I w wasn't aware of her being that formal. So here's the, here's the skinny. We need 16 uh, plastic explosives to destroy Metal Gear in a certain pattern. Every time we go up in rank, it allows us to hold more of each thing. Unless we're perfect uh, rank 4, we can't hold 16 bombs. So you have to go around killing and rescuing hostages until you are rank 4 before you can beat the game. Oh. Luckily, we got that out of the way on the way here. Because <laughs> at this point, if you were playing like any other Metal Gear game, you would be doing your best to avoid uh, detection by the enemy by sneaking past them. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! What? Oh. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's only kilometers north. But how did he know I was here? Oh, we still have to use that compass to get across the desert. Mm-hmm. Twenty kilometers over that bet. I bet they're gonna use the same background they did for the little mine trap area. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh yeah, I remember the POW mentioning this area. <laughs> Something about going through kind of thing. Oh, uh, we 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 want to go north through uh, that tunnel, but it drowns us because it's deep water. So we need the scuba power. The up. water wingy. What is that? That's another plastic explosive. Oh. Oh, maybe we'll just go north a different way. As soon as I determine which card gets me through the door. Oh no! Lobsters? What? Cra uh, scorpions? Sand scorpion? Oh. Desert? Desert? Thank god we have the compass. Oh, or else we'll just be going in the loop, I take it? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see how Snake is always constantly running to the, uh, northeast? Without the compass, he would actually make a huge northeast circle. I see that's what the antidote was for. Yes. That up. We got poisoned by a scorpion. <laughs> Just a hopping scorpion. And that was our last sandwich. Armor? Yes, it was... oh. <laughs> So grow a pencil-thin mustache. You gotta creep in that big snake. Is this a lorry? <laughs> I don't know what a lorry is. I think it's British slang for something. I doubt it's for the in huge back of a truck. <laughs> you could park like six trucks in that back of the truck. That's where he got all the trucks. Mm. <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> That's why we need to get the body armor, because otherwise you won't be able to survive these type of areas. Oh. <laughs> Over. As opposed to the way we <laughs> came in from. You have- oh, it was door one. Of course. And these enemies won't stop spawning. Oh god. <laughs> that was terrible advice. The enemies won't what, stop spawning boss? until we go through the door. The enemies won't what? They won't stop spawning in in this area. So there we you go. Get the rank up. Oop. 
Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Good thing we brought the plastic or the pee bomb. Oh, that this set enough alarm. Oh no! Oh, I guess the alarm's over. <laughs> uh, there we go. Uh... <laughs> this will probably take me 20 kilometers north. <laughs> We've actually been looking at it wrong. He's actually laying down on a tram. Well, he's got to rest sometime. <laughs> Not everybody can just sit around waiting to be rescued. Oh, we're going all the way down to the 100th basement, I forgot. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed 97 more screens of this. Oh, it's actually 100 pixels now. There's a typo. I'm not how quite sure how it got these there. Things? <laughs> uh, I put it there. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sound of the oxygen is filled. Oh, it's the actual room behind here. Oh, the oxygen tank is to swim? Maybe. Maybe we're gonna use it as an explosive to blow up a wall. Oh, that wasn't the 100 floor basement. Metal Gear oh. is on the 100 floor basement. Get to go back to the desert again. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure how many times. The water area. <laughs> Place will need shortcut. <laughs> Is it that point in the music where it just pauses for a while and then it goes, Duh. <laughs> Oh yeah. It's like, yeah, we're still doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh... Not right now, Big mm -hmm. Boss. This is Big Boss. Go in that left door again. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> the worst game of Fall of Later I've ever played. Oh god, we don't have any more sandwiches, too. Let's hope, uh, we can outrun all these- get Oh no, on. it's lobster fest. Why can't we just eat the lobsters? I heard that was a game feature in one <laughs> of the games. Spoiler! I'm crustacean. Uh. Oh, that was cutting close. Here solid oh <laughs> red lobster eater this is red lobster <laughs> meet up with your bomb oh yeah i guess it is to breathe well yeah if you just stick oxygen tanks on your <laughs> back and breathe <laughs> not quite sure why as long as you're holding them you're fine <laughs> you just absorb it it's an osmosis snake just like a real snake this is- oh, I'm Big Boss, trust me. I, I would know. Oh. I hope you bought, uh, remote control missiles. I like how the door is <laughs> electrified, I guess. Yeah. I think it's just doing that to whatever its color is. Mm -hmm. The MSX is a very limited technology. <laughs> They're trying. Oh, mister. He's big. <laughs> I bet he's big. Come on. That's a silly name for a boss of a rogue military organization. Oh no! Wow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come on, you could have just leaned. You could just reach over. I mean, I got the missiles. So yeah, if you run out of missiles right there. Oh no. Just it's coward duck. What? 
<laughs> this is the worst name yet. That's my favorite name. <laughs> you can't shoot me, can you? <laughs> what if you do? Is it you just lose? Over. <laughs> You have to- if you kill one of the, uh, hostages, it is game over. So let's not- oh god. Traps on traps. Unfortunately, if you shoot <laughs> right next to a guy's ear, you're only going to make him have hearing damage. Well, that was Coward Duck. Um... Uh, he was- Rescued. He was- Did you just run up and rescue them, or no? Yeah. Before, um, you fight Coward Duck? Oh, no. There- no. Coward Duck, uh, also known as Dirty Duck in the remake, was uh, the leader of the terrorist group Eggplant uh. before joining Powder Heaven. <laughs> Open oh, route missiles again. Oh, you can run through the electric floor. It just it constantly drains your health bar. Oh. So I hope you brought rations or missiles. You only have one missile left, oh no! Then, but you got it, oh no! Let me re reiterate. Bullets are not good. The terrorist organization Eggplant. Two words, egg space plant. Oh. Like, it's a plant that produces eggs? <laughs> it produces terror. When you're led by coward duck. Oh. Uh, who lays eggs? <laughs> Dirty duck. What a dirty duck That's a dirty eggs. trick, duck. I sense we're gonna need bullets for something. <laughs> if we just go back in here enough times, a, ro a rocket launcher has to spawn, right? Right? Maybe if we call Jennifer again, she'll uh, provide... Some rations? <laughs> Ratio? Make a sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> At that missed again. I think the explosion from the missile can hurt us, just not the missile itself. I like how that's hand dash gun. As in a gun you would use with your hands, not a handgun. Be sure to equip the bomba, or else you'll drown. Trying to figure out what bomba was cut off from. Well, you could use these as an explosive. That's a bomb, huh? A uh, bomb, bomb, uh, A bomber jacket? Oh, you're stealth like this. Mm-hmm. Are you? Yeah, we're completely underwater. Alright. Yeah, make sure here. Anybody on that side of that box would have been screwed. Are we 100 floors down now? <laughs> that was just the last floor we had to go down. Of course there were dogs at the bottom floor of the basement again. I imagine the soldier that comes in there and finds the two dog corpses Again, has to replace the dogs, drag them out, wash them off. Oh, ratios. Just in time. <laughs> Let's stock up on ratios. The only ratio I need is one to one, because I'm number one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the most perilous cheese of grabbing material. I want to play a game, Snake. A series of barrels connected to each other, or 
Or are there just soldiers rolling around in that? I would like to think there are just soldiers rolling around. No, I would like to think there are elite hamsters. <laughs> and it pauses every single time you hit a wall because they are getting knocked around in there and they're going to run in whatever direction they've been knocked down to. Yeah. Which is the opposite. I mean, we've already got the most incompetent soldiers and dogs. I mean, Outer Heaven might as well have hamsters. There's an air tank on the other side. Oxygen. <laughs> Less some oxygen. Oh, that's what car cameras do when they uh, see you, by the way. They do shoot lasers! <laughs> I was right! <laughs> Oh. What? I guess I was right. Everything is done by him. That's why he's the big boss. That's why he knew everything. That's why he was jamming. <laughs> That's why they call him Big Boss. Because he's the big boss of the game. Oh, damn. Just That's really powerful. This is the command! <laughs> Over! I know you're the command, big boss, silly! Did he mean, like, this is the command, like, this is the commander, or in the command center, or it's like, that well, is yeah, my he's command? You, this is the command, rest assured, it's me. No, I think it was, like, more like, that is my command, do my will. Oh. I mean, I am this a big boss. This is the command. Of a big Obey. boss. Whoa! Hey, Snake, you wanna go into that north <laughs> room over there? <laughs> that explains everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, 1987. That, that, that completely blew your mind. What the boo? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh my- oh wait, I just realized it broke the fourth wall. Mm-hmm. Which was- uh, which was also- play any players ever did? I don't think you can save in old games like this. Uh, it might have worked off a password system, actually. Oh. I think- I think the MSX- the MXX was cartridge-based. So it might I have I like saved. how you can't have the gas mask and the, mm -hmm. uh... Also, you don't know which card it is, so you have to cycle through them. While you're dying from the gas. Oh. <laughs> this is Jennifer. You must. Oh. <laughs> I hope you stocked up on Russian. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds terrible. <laughs> that's not the sound of the electricity. Uh, that's actually tick tickling him. He's laughing. He. <laughs> Welcome. This is Metal Gear. Look at it. Oh, he's not operational yet, though. Right, he's not okay, even complete. Yeah. So you have to blow up his feet while dodging cameras. Do it in the right order, or else it doesn't work somehow, apparently, I guess. Also, I can't really, like, tell from the perspective, like, how high this thing is compared to, like, how wide it is. Oh my gosh, I just realized, um, the cockpit's on the right there. Mm-hmm. I... I thought that was its weird body, <laughs> and that was its head on top. Right. Just slightly in the middle. That giant stereo-looking thing on the side is what launches nuclear missiles. Oh. If this were a real boss fight, I'm pretty sure all those things would be doing anything. What am, but what if we're being tricked, and this is just the activation sequence of the Metal Gear? It's really complicated to start my robot. I gotta blow up its feet. Man, once I get it going. Well, it's so no one can just. I I gotta be sure I wanna launch nuclear missiles anywhere. Oh no. <laughs> I'll say. Twice even. Oh, I just noticed the timer. Mm hmm. Wait, you didn't preface this message with who this is. You didn't say over. Oh no. Is that Big Boss? <laughs> yeah, I'm Big Boss. <laughs> I'm Big Boss General well, Coleman. Thanks for the prompt reply. <laughs> That's why they call him Big Boss.
I'm not sure why I didn't do this myself. To be honest. You're too good. <laughs> Whoa, he's he's fast. Wait, he doesn't walk in. Boss, help me. Wait, so he was jamming himself? <laughs> There's gotta be a better way to phrase that. I love... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Big I'm ball. almost ducking for cover here. This is why you call me Big Boss. I can take the door. I there was a pressure plate on my face. You don't become the leader. Seagull. You don't become the leader of Foxhound without taking a few missiles to the face. Oh my what, God. What was the cigar he just used? Uh, that was Big Boss's cigar. Don't you know it's kind of his thing? He he smokes cigars, I guess. Oh, you don't know which ladder. To yeah. <laughs> I That's think so I think there was a hostage who told you to take the far left ladder. We just never rescued him. Oh god! What? Oh, no. Is that us? Is the light? Oh no! He's just what? He's running! I thought he was still climbing. <laughs> we out! <laughs> Wait! <laughs> <laughs> oh. You got to be sure. Who's he reporting to now? Foxhound. What? Who in Foxhound? I mean, big bosses. Um. Uh -huh. Wait, none of the rescued ever left. <laughs> no. No, they didn't. They just got nuked twice. Earth Tremor? Metal Gear Staff, it's the new hit song sweeping the nation. <laughs> so, if you didn't catch on to that, the plot of this game was Big Boss is the leader of Foxhound, and the special it's the Special Forces group Foxhound. Which was commanded to prove that Outer Heaven was not doing evil. And Big Boss was in command of Outer Heaven too. So they sent the most rookie soldier in. Thinking he would fail his mission. And then they would leave Outer Heaven alone. Uh. But Solid Snake succeeded. And he, he... Because Big Boss couldn't give instruction for a <laughs> ample amount of time because he jammed himself. If only he would have taken the door on the left and fell down the pit like he was supposed to. <laughs> Apparently that would have solved everything. <laughs> on your way down, just report to the UN, everything's okay. <laughs> Trust me, I'm Big Boss. Diane? <laughs> Jennifer? Madnox? Elise? Ellie? <laughs> Ellen? <laughs> Is it Ellen? Machine Gun Kid? <laughs> we'll just have to find out in Metal Gear 2, Solid Snake. 